What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today. Hey, we've got a reaction here to something that has just popped up on my YouTube recommended in the last couple days. We've got Justin Langer's coaching exit and, and the, the thumbnail also says that he speaks on, you know, what happened with the players and talks about the reason why he got sacked in the end. So, hey, we've got five minutes. We've got Will Schofield, who is a former Australian rules football player. Uh, he's got a podcast now, like every other ex-sportsman. And, hey, we're just going to go through these little five minutes. I want to hear what the man JL has to say. Let's go. Come on. Everyone was being nice to my face, and I was reading about this stuff. I'm going, and half of it, I swear to God, on my kids' lives, it was like, I cannot believe this is one making the papers. I've got to believe there's, you know, you hear a lot of journalists use the word source. A source <laughs> says. Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. change that word for coward. A coward says. Damn! Not a source, because what do you mean a source says? They've either got an axe to grind with someone mm. and they won't come and say it to your face, mm -hmm. or they're just leaking stuff for their own agenda. Yeah. I hate that. That's yeah. just so. But then, so Paney, we had this conversation, and he goes, mate, I'm out of sleep. I said, mate, just be 100% honest with me. Mm. And I'm sitting there going, you're joking. Awesome. No worries. And some of the stuff he said is like, you'd imagine he was telling me to, it was like one out of 10, one out of 100. It was the easiest shit to change. I'm going, no, thanks, mate. This is, and it was like a gift. Yeah. It was like a Hey, and that, now, now, last pause of the video, the last pause, but the man JL is speaking absolute facts. Like, people would rather, especially in the sports industry, you know, go behind your back and, and give a source. No, it's not really a source. You just dogged your best friend and you went behind his back and told on him and, and made up bullshit and made it seem worse than it really was. You guys know my opinion with JL and me wanting him to still be the coach of the Australian team. Never should have been let go. Never should have been any change. It is what it is now, but the man JL, he's, he's speaking facts. I've learned that in life, and people say I very Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I had one last thing to say. That When he's speaking about you would rather people come up to you face-to-face -face and tell you what their issue is instead of you know going behind your back and telling the whole world about it, go to the person face-to-face, -face, speak to them and say, hey, I think we need to work on these things. Hey, I think we need to, you know, you need some feedback, you know, constructive criticism. Because when you're a coach, that's literally what you're there for, to get you yourself better and obviously make the team better. So, yeah, I mean, the whole the whole way that it went was just so silly. It's don't, don't mistake intensity with honesty. Mm, you know, Brene Brown, you know, the great Brene Brown, the Canadian... Um, now she's on this, you know, she um, researches fear and vulnerability. And mm. one thing she says, it's a beautiful little podcast and it goes for, well, I think she said it goes for about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. The lady says to her, what's the number one thing in leadership today? She goes, oh, that's easy. Being honest. Being honest. Yeah. <laughs> Clear is... Hey, shit, am I now a leader because I knew that? Mm, shit. Kind. Yeah. Unclear is unkind. Facts. So tell the truth. We Especially try Especially in sport. think we're being nice or think we're being soft by it and we're not clear. Be clear. Tim Payne was really clear with me. It was oh. awesome. It was awesome. And like I'm clear, I, one thing I will always say, when people talk to me, they will never go to sleep at night wondering if it's the truth. And because it's clear, it's honest, it's mm. kind. Mm. Tim Payne was honest with me. I thought, hey. oh, Payne, I felt like jumping through the FaceTime and giving him a hug. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> And then, this is the oh, I, I, I know I said last pause, but there's a lot to talk about. We miss you, TP. We miss the man, Tim Payne. He shouldn't have been let go either. We know how wrong he was done as well. Damn, Australian cricket has had some controversy in the last five, ten years, haven't we? God damn. He, was a, he gave me some feet. Then <laughs> I rang Finchie. I said, Finchie, because I had this meeting that I said, Finchie, he goes, I said, mate, we've been captain and coach for four years he mm. goes yeah i know he goes yeah i've been a bit of pussy haven't i i don't like confrontation. <laughs> what do you mean confrontation mate just tell me exactly so tell me i go oh yeah cool and he's going what you're not upset no no what do you mean upset yeah this exactly. is so fixable mm. this is easy mate yeah and i've got a curious mind like, like i said 63 in six hours of batting the end of my career, I was belting them. You evolve, you get better. That's life, right? So they give me this feedback. I said, no, and I spoke to Pat Cummins. 
And Pat come and said to me probably five times, oh, mate, this might be brutally honest. I said, Pat, there is nothing brutal about your feedback. What's brutal is I'm hearing it behind it's not the back it. through the media or through sources. Yeah, facts. And everyone, no one's telling me. There's and that's worse. Brutal. Tell me. How are you? Oh, yeah, no worries. Great, mate. The hardest thing for me of it all, I've never said this publicly, right? But I will, so you guys oh. will get some headlines probably. The hardest <laughs> thing for me of all of it was I got the feedback. I did something about it. We won the T20 World Cup. We won the Ashes. We were number one in the world. Yeah. I've never enjoyed coaching more. I still got sacked. That's How? the hardest thing. How? Because you can't give someone fee ask to give someone feedback, do something about it. It'd be like, imagine me saying to a player, says to me, oh, coach, I wanna, I'm the best one day player in the world. I'm the best test cricketer in the world. I wanna get in the T20 side. Mm. Okay, what do I have to do? I'll give them some advice. And they say, oh, thanks so much, coach. I'm going to go and work on that. Mm. Does. Gets better. Works on it. We pick him, give him the opportunity. He gets five man of the matches in the in the first five games. Yep. And then you and then you get rid of him. Well done. Mm, actually, we're going to drop you anyway, mate, because we like someone better. Exactly. This is what I don't get. <laughs> like, how can JL sit here and, like, that this is okay and that we moved on from from this situation so quickly in Australian cricket? Like... Bro, like, no, there is nothing wrong with Andrew McDonald. I think he's a wonderful guy and a wonderful coach. But, bro, the, the, <laughs> I, I still can't believe this shit happened and the way it did. You know, after being champions of the world in T20, number one test team in the world, the ODI World Cup just a year away, which JR would have had us ready for and the mentally strong for. He is someone who has played lots of cricket in India as well. He would know what to do. Instead, we got rid of him and signed someone who respectfully isn't, you know, the sort of caliber that JL is. Man. Imagine saying that to a player. Yeah. So why, well, why weren't you given the opportunity to get better? Because players went behind why his back and wanted him I out. Did get, I did get the advice and yeah. I got better. I know, but and then, sorry. Oh, sorry. Why, didn't, I, why, you, why, didn't, you get, why didn't you get to keep oh, your job after getting better? Yeah. Tell them the truth, you know. You'd have to ask Cricket Australia that. Nah, mate. you know. You'd have to ask. And the other thing is, you know, you know. they used to talk about mutiny on deck. <laughs> That's a classic. Like someone stole that from probably another podcast. I did yeah, one of my speakers. They say in leadership, the captain comes out, one, when the iceberg presents, when there's crisis, yeah. two, when there's stormy waters, or three, when there's mutiny on deck. What I've learned about mutiny on deck is that it's usually one or two voices. <laughs> and they're the loudest voices, uh -huh. and people listen to loud voices. Mm. And when I finished with the Australian career, I, I would have got messages that make you cry from 90% of the players. Yeah, 90% so of the players? Know, mate, you'd have to ask someone else. Yeah. Um, look, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You guys know we are as honest as possible on this channel. We don't have filters. You know, we're not sponsored by people to, you know, we're not, we're not, you know, promoting, you know, certain people or brands and stuff. I give my honest opinions. And again, I've said this 32 times since JL got sacked. Shouldn't have been sacked. Whatever. We moved on. Tim Payne should have still been captain or at least in the team. Whatever. We move on. But I also read into what he said at the end here about, you know, 90% of the players. 90%, which, you know, is 90% is better than, you know, it being no one. But who was the other 10%? I'm going to be honest, it was probably Pat Cummins. Like, that that was the, the, the name that I kept hearing during this whole situation. You know, with Camo being the captain, it, was, it had to be driven by him. Now, again, I have no inside information. Um, about, you know, what actually went on, but, yeah, it, it, yeah, I think I'm pretty on the spot there with that. It had to be at least a few players that were driving it. And I, I did read something in the last couple of days that actually said that the players, that some of the players wanted JL out because he was too harsh. Now, again, that's just like going to the media and telling what you don't like about him. Like, you could have just gone to him and said, mate, you need to chill out as our coach. Like, you need to get around us. You need to be one of the boys a bit more. You need to not be as much as a tight ass. And if, you know, maybe if they just were up front earlier, he'd still be captain. Oh, he'd still be captain. He'd still be coach. Maybe he would have led us to an Australia T20 World Cup title. 
How would you know? You wouldn't because he's gone. <laughs> so, hey, that is going to cap it off. Hey, drop your comments about this whole situation right now. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see everyone in the next one.